American Ninja Warrior, USA vs. The World is a television special aired approximately once a year on NBC. It features a team of American Ninja Warrior fan favorites competing against teams of competitors from other regions of the world, including Japan, Europe, Latin America, Asia and Australia, for bragging rights and the American Ninja Warrior, USA vs. The World Trophy. The competitors race on the same Mount Midorayama course used in the annual ANW Finals on the Las Vegas Strip. Topic. Series overview Topic. Specials Topic. USA vs. Japan January 2014 During the Season 5 finale of American Ninja Warrior, NBC announced that a special USA vs. Japan matchup would take place, the first ever team competition in American Ninja Warrior's history. The two-hour special premiered on January 13, 2014, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on NBC and matched five Japanese Sasuke All-Stars and New Stars, heroes of the original Ninja Warrior, against five American stars representing American Ninja Warrior at the American reconstruction of the Mount Midorayama course in Las Vegas. At stake was the United States vs. Japan Championship, also branded as the first world championship for Sasuke, American Ninja Warrior, and a trophy to match. The special featured American Ninja Warrior's regular broadcasting crew, analysts Matt Eisman and Akbar G. Baha Biamila along with sideline reporter Jen Brown. Topic. Rosters. Topic. Overview The teams faced off on each stage in turn, with each stage hosting its own round of five one-on-one -on -one matches and no competitor allowed to run the same stage twice. The first national team to win three matches out of five earned the points for that stage. Stage 1 was worth one point, while Stage 2 was worth two points and Stage 3 was worth three. In the event of a 3-3 tie after the first three stages, the tiebreaker would be a one-off showdown where each country would pick one team member for a race to the top of the final stage. Topic. Results Final score, Team USA, 6, Team Japan, 0 Champions, Team USA Topic. USA vs. The World September 2014 During the Season 6 finale, NBC announced that another special entitled USA vs. The World matchup would take place in Las Vegas under a new format. On September 15, Team USA competed against a returning Team Japan, and a new team, Team Europe. This was the second annual international competition that pitted top competitors from the United States American Ninja Warrior, Japan Ninja Warrior, Sasuke, and also European All-Stars. The three-hour special aired on September 15, 2014, on NBC with an encore airing September 16, 2014, on Esquire. The special once again was hosted by hosts Matt Eisman and Akbar G. Baha Biamila as well as sideline reporter Jen Brown. Topic. Rosters Topic. Overview Since there were three teams competing this year, the rules were a little different. Stage 1 through Stage 3, there were three heats in each stage. Each heat consisted of three competitors, one competitor from each team. 
In each heat, the competitor who completed the course or made it the furthest in the fastest time received points for their team, one point for each heat in Stage 1, two points for each heat in Stage 2, and three points for each heat in Stage 3. The points were accumulated in the three stages, and the team who got the highest points would be the ANW champions. If there were at least two teams who got the same highest points, those teams would send one member each to scale the Stage 4 tower of Mount Midoriyama. Whoever reached the top of the tower in the fastest time, their respective team would be the ANW champions. There was no time limit to complete all the stages. Topic. Results Joe Moroski beat Brent Stephenson's record from ANW4 for the fastest time in Stage 1, beating Stephenson's time of 1 minute 14 seconds and 53 milliseconds with a time of 1 minute 12 seconds and 72 milliseconds. However, Tim Sheaf beat Moroski's time in a subsequent heat by finishing in 1 minute 2 seconds and 70 milliseconds the fastest time ever on Stage 1 in ANW history. Travis Rosen achieved the fastest time by an American on Stage 2 with 1 minute 48 seconds and 0 milliseconds, but Sean McColl finished with a time of 1 minute 46 seconds and 51 milliseconds, the fastest of the season. All three Americans, Travis Rosen, Ellett Hall, and Brian Arnold, completed Stage 2, with Sean McColl also completing it for Team Europe. Yusuke Morimoto made ANW history by becoming the first athlete to ever finish Stage 3 with a time of 5 minutes 38 seconds and 91 milliseconds. Stefano Gisolfi also completed Stage 3 in the same heat, beating Morimoto's time finishing in 4 minutes 46 seconds and 89 milliseconds. Ryo Matachi followed by becoming the third athlete to complete Stage 3 with a time of 5 minutes 4 seconds and 67 milliseconds. In the last run of Stage 3, Brian Arnold became the second American athlete to complete the stage after Kane Kasugi did it in Sasuke 8 with a time of 4 minutes 39 seconds and 90 milliseconds, the fastest time of the four finishers. Arnold's finish moved USA into a tie with Team Europe, forcing a deciding tie break on Stage 4. For the first time in ANW history, the athletes competed on Stage 4. Travis Rosen was selected as the first competitor on ANW to attempt the final stage and he made it all the way up Midoriyama's 90-foot tower with a 77-foot rope with a time of 0 minutes 35 seconds and 77 milliseconds. However, Sean McColl beat Rosen's time by three-tenths of a second 0 minutes 0 seconds and 31 milliseconds, winning the competition for Team Europe as they became the world champions of ANW. Rosen missed on his first attempt at hitting the buzzer at the end of the rope climb. Final score, Team Europe, 10, Team USA, 9, Team Japan, 0. Champions, Team Europe. Topic. USA vs. The World, January 2016 NBC announced that another USA vs. The World matchup would again take place in Las Vegas. It was the second such worldwide special to unite ANW alumni, Sasuke All-Stars, and European competitors for the Season 7 finale. The three-hour special aired on January 31, 2016, on NBC. It was hosted by the current American Ninja Warrior hosts, Matt Eisman, Akbar G. Baha Biamila, and co-host Christine Leahy. Topic. Rosters Note, asterisk Britain was unable to compete due to flu-like symptoms with a fever of 103 and was replaced by alternate Joe Moroski who was standing by. Topic Overview Topic Results 
On stage 1, Drew Drexel gets the fastest time of the season with a time of 1 minute 18 seconds and 61 milliseconds, beating Tim Sheaf's time of 1 minute 25 seconds and 33 milliseconds. On stage 2, Sean McColl edged out both Drew Drexel's time of 1 minute 34 seconds and 46 milliseconds, and Joe Morosky's time of 1 minute 23 seconds and 69 milliseconds, beating them with a speedy time of 1 minute 19 seconds and 86 milliseconds, the fastest of the ANW season. On stage 3, in the last heat, Yusuke Morimoto was the only member of Team Japan to finish this stage with a time of 6 minutes 29 seconds and 38 milliseconds. However, Sean McColl got a faster time with 5 minutes 42 seconds and 25 milliseconds, putting Team Europe in the lead. Isaac Caldiero was the last to compete and needed the three-point win in order to put Team USA on top. Caldiero brought his team to victory with an impressive time of 4 minutes 28 seconds and 84 milliseconds, the fastest of the season. Final score, Team USA, 10, Team Europe, 8, Team Japan, 0. Champions, Team USA. Topic. USA vs. The World, June 2017. The three-hour special episode aired on June 4, 2017, it was unofficially the first episode of Season 9. Once again, it was hosted by the current American Ninja Warrior hosts, Matt Eisman, Akbar G. Baha Biamila, and co-host Christine Leahy. This year, Team USA and Team Europe faced a new challenger, Team Latin America. Topic. Rosters Topic Overview Each team competed in three heats on each stage. Each heat win on stage one was worth one point. Stage two was worth two points. And on stage three was worth three points. If there was a tie the two teams would race side by side up the 80-foot climb of Stage 4 of Mount Midoriyama. Topic. Results Jesse Graff became the first woman in ANW history, and to compete and successfully finish, Stage 2 in Las Vegas. This was the Palm Wonderful. Run of the night. She was also the first woman representing the United States in the USA vs. The World Competition. Josh Levin and Drew Drexel both completed Stage 3, putting them on a list of only a handful of athletes to do so. Final score, Team USA, 10, Team Europe, 7, Team Latin America, 1. Champions, Team USA. Topic. USA vs. The World March 2018. A fifth USA vs. The World special aired for three hours on March 11, 2018. Returning are the current American Ninja Warrior hosts, Matt Eisman, Akbar G. Baha Biamila, and sideline reporter Christine Leahy. This year, Team USA Blue, Team Europe Green, and Team Latin America Yellow faced a new challenger, Team Asia Red. Topic: Rosters. Names in italics represent a named team captain. Team USA members wore blue t-shirts and shorts. Competitors included three-time USA vs. The World veterans Joe Morosky, the last ninja standing, in Season 9, and Drew Drexel, who had the fastest time in Stage 1 that season. Also on Team USA were the two other competitors besides Morosky to make it to Stage 3 in Season 9, Sean Bryan and Najee Richardson, both competing for the first time on USA vs. The World. Team Europe members wore green t-shirts and shorts. 
Competitors included Sean McColl, who returned for his fourth USA vs. The World appearance, and Alexander Mars, the last ninja standing on Ninja Warrior Sweden, who returned for his third appearance on the NBC special. Oser Eriksfoss, a Team Ninja Warrior Denmark record holder, and Sergio Verdasco, who achieved total victory on Ninja Warrior Spain, were first-time competitors. Team Latin America members wore yellow T-shirts and shorts. Competitors included freerunners Dani Marmolejo and Carl Fau, who returned for their second appearance, as well as professional rock climbers Marco Jubes and Sebastian Prieto, who made their first appearance on the NBC special. Team Asia competed for the first time, with members wearing red T-shirts and shorts. Competitors included Yusuke Morimoto, who returned for his third appearance, and first under the Team Asia banner. He had twice competed for Team Japan in late 2014 and 2016. Another returning Team Japan member was Tomohiro Kawaguchi, who returned for his second appearance. He had previously competed for Team Japan in 2016. A first-time appearance was also made by Yosua Zaluku, the last ninja standing on Ninja Warrior Indonesia, making it to Stage 4. Thukla also made his first USA vs. The World appearance, having achieved total victory on Ninja Warrior Vietnam. Topic. Overview There were two heats during Stage 1 and 2 in which one athlete from each team would run. The runner who went the furthest the fastest won three points for their team, second place won two points, and third place won one point. Last place received zero points. The three highest scoring teams at the end of the two stages advanced to stage three, while the team with the fewest points was eliminated. While there was a time limit for stage one, there was no time limit for stage two. The scoreboard was reset at the beginning of stage three, which also included two heats. The runner who went the furthest the fastest won their team two points, while second place won their team one point. Last place received zero points. The two highest scoring teams at the end of stage three would move on to stage four, while the team with the fewest points was eliminated. Topic. Results During Heat 1 of Stage 1, Team USA was represented by Joe Morosky, Team Europe by Oser Eriksfoss, Team Latin America by Carl Fau, and Team Asia by Thukla. Morosky fell on the domino pipes, while Eriksfoss fell on the spider jump, and La fell on the double dipper. Fau was the only one to complete the course. Team Latin America won the Heat. During Heat 2 of Stage 1, Team USA was represented by Drew Drexel, Team Europe by Sergio Verdasco, Team Latin America by Dani Marmolejo, and Team Asia by Tomohiro Kawaguchi. Drexel, Verdasco, and Marmolejo all finished the course while Kawaguchi fell on the domino pipes. Team USA won the Heat. At the end of both heats, the points totals were added. During Heat 1 of Stage 2, Team USA was represented by Sean Bryan, Team Europe by Alexander Mars, Team Latin America by Marco Jubes, and Team Asia by Yusuke Morimoto. Bryan fell at Wingnut Alley, while Mars fell at the Wave Runner. Jubes and Morimoto both fell at the Swing Surfer. Team USA won the heat. During Heat 2 of Stage 2, Team USA was represented by Najee Richardson, Team Europe by Sean McColl, Team Latin America by Sebastian Prieto, and Team Asia by Yosua Zaluku. Richardson and McColl both completed the course, while Prieto fell on the Criss Cross Salmon Ladder and Zaluku on the Wave Runner. As McColl finished fastest, Team Europe won the heat. At the end of both heats, points totals from Stage 1 and 2 were combined, with Team USA leading with 10 points, Team Europe with 6 points, and Team Latin America with 5 points. 
Team Asia had the fewest points and was eliminated. During Heat 1 of Stage 3, Team USA was represented by Drew Drexel, Team Europe by Sergio Verdasco, and Team Latin America by Marco Rubes. Drexel and Verdasco both fell on the ultimate cliffhanger, while Rubes fell on the first obstacle, the floating boards. Team Europe won the heat, as Verdasco made it to the ultimate cliffhanger faster than Team USA's Drexel. During Heat 2 of Stage 3, Team USA was represented by Joe Morosky, Team Europe by Alexander Mars, and Team Latin America by Sebastian Prieto. All three fell on the ultimate cliffhanger. However, Team USA won the heat as Morosky made it to the obstacle faster than Team Europe's Mars. At the end of both heats, the points totals were combined, with Team USA and Team Europe tied with three points. Team Latin America had zero points and was eliminated. During Stage 4, Team USA was represented by Sean Bryan, while Team Europe was represented by Sean McColl. In an 80-foot rope climb race to the top of Mount Midoriyama, McColl edged out Bryan with a time of 25 to 93, just faster than Bryan's 26 to 79. Team Europe was then declared champions, earning their second USA vs. The World Trophy. McColl's run was also named the Palm Wonderful Run of the Night. Final score, Team Europe, 4, Team USA, 3, Team Latin America, 0. Champions, Team Europe. Topic. USA vs. The World, January 2019. The sixth competition aired on January 27, 2019. It featured competitors from the United States, Europe, and for the first time, Australia. Every team had at least one female competitor. Topic. Rosters Names in italics represent a named team captain. Topic. Overview The competition took place on all three stages of Mount Midoriyama stage four, with the final two teams racing side by side up the 80-foot tower to become world champions and claim the ANW trophy. Team USA, featuring two top female competitors on their team faced the defending champions Team Europe and all of new team from Australia. One athlete from each team competed in each heat. First place gets two points, second place gets one point and third place gets zero points. At the end, only the two highest ranked teams advance to stage four for a climb off. Whoever gets to the top first take home the title of ANW World Champions. Topic. Results. During Stage 1, Heat 1, Team USA's Barkley Stockett set her own record when she completed the course, hitting the buzzer for the very first time. She made ANW history by becoming only the third woman to finish Stage 1 with a time of 3 minutes 2 seconds and 57 milliseconds, also earning a point for Team USA. During Stage 1, Heat 2, Mathis. Kid. Awadi, the youngest competitor to ever join Team USA, completed the stage in the fastest time, hitting the buzzer at a blazing 1.27.18. This made it the fastest time on Stage 1 in this season. During Stage 2, Heat 2, Jesse. Flex. Labrick made ANW history when she not only completed the stage, but finished it in the fastest time than the other ninjas in her heat, earning two points for Team USA. Labrick is only the second woman to achieve this feat, following in the footsteps of stuntwoman Jessie Graff from two years ago. During Stage 3, four-time Team USA member, Real Life Ninja. Drew Drexel made it the furthest out of all the other ninjas in his heat, by making it all the way to the second-to-last obstacle, Kane Lane. During Stage 4, it was Team USA Drew Drexel vs. 
Team Australia Ashlyn Herbert to rope climb the 80-foot tower of Mount Midoriyama. Despite Herbert's team putting a bucket of beer at the top for extra motivation, it was Drexel who completed the climb in a time of 33.43 seconds, winning it for Team USA. Final score, Team USA, 8, Team Australia, 6 points, Team Europe, 1. Champions, Team USA equals equals ratings